Hello tank fans, a uh, little replay here, uh, it was on the public server obviously, but uh, just in a random platoon with uh, random people, you never know what you're going to get, uh, case in point, team killer, teammate killer and teammate killer are in a platoon together in their T25-25s, and of course we all know where this is going. Um, unfortunately, well, one has already fired a shot into the other, turning himself blue. Bodes well. Um, but we all know where this is going to go. No, we're good. And the other one had just turned around and shot his other teammate, and now they're just going straight, full retard, right up the middle. Um, so basically, we're down two tanks already. Uh, the T. 1T-25 is actually going to block, I believe, our T-29 here. Uh, hard to tell from this angle because I'm just camped out in the bush waiting, so waiting to see what's going to go down. Um, and you can tell in the chat that they're just complete assholes. Anyway, uh, 1T-25 has already died, and the other one is going off to do the same. Um, to quote-unquote scout, I believe is what he said in the chat, but whatever. Uh, at this point I'm just kind of hanging back, just seeing, feeling things out. I'm not feeling too brave at the moment because the last couple games I played in the Hellcat I kind of went a little full all out and died relatively quick without doing a whole lot, so I figured I'd take a little more conservative this time, see where everybody went, and notice that the MX M40, uh, M445 and the M4A3E2 were all by themselves on the east side, so I was, uh, I'll go see what I can do, see if I can uh, bot, you know, maybe get some damage in when I see a T1 hit. I'm like, boy, free damage. Nope. Tracked him. And uh, reloading, reloading, and fire. And nope. Alright, T1 heavy is hard to penetrate. Penetrate in the front at that distance in that area. I mean, obviously, he didn't have a shot on his lower plate there, but anyway, so I move up, see if I can respot him or help with the. Uh, T29 or the KV-1 that are uh, that my fellow teammates are battling right now, and uh, this looks like a good bush. I'll we'll just kind of poke here. I don't want, again don't want to go too far up, or this is what I'm thinking anyway, is because that T1 heavy could be there, and if I go barreling up there, I could get shot to the side, get tracked, die, and at this point I kind of realize that uh, I I can't help. At this point, at, from this angle, because the, the MX and the M4 are just up way too far, and the enemies aren't coming around the corner. And I spot that T5916, I'm like, ooh, and go to save our artillery, but somebody already takes them out. I think it was our T29. And realize at this point that the M4 and the AMX are just toast. So I retreat and up. And my plan is to go up on the high ground here and uh, see what I can do, kind of sit in the bush and see how much damage I can get in before I, what I assume is we're going to be overrun. At this point I kind of look at well, as well at the west and think we're, we're fine there, nothing to worry about there. Uh, notice the Team 29 coming over to help and very slowly and the GW Panther, surprisingly enough, the artillery, gets in position to take a snipe at whatever comes around that corner. Uh, which is going to be any second now, so I figure I better roll up to help him bravely from behind. <laughs> Use him as a meat shield, because he wants to go down swinging. And he plants one hell of a shot into that T29, and I finish him off. I'm like, well played, Panther, well played. Unfortunately, the uh, enemy T1 Heavy gets uh, a shot into him. And I try and reciprocate, but again, I bounce. T1 Heavy, hard to bounce on the turret. Or hard to penetrate, sorry, on the turret. Note to self. Uh, anyway, the GW Panther has gotten out of the way, and our T29 is coming around to uh, take on the T1 Heavy. And they exchange shots, and both back away. I pull up, hoping I can actually sneak a penetrating shot in, and yes, I manage to get his side. Perfect! 
So we can all relax now, right? We got this under control. It's 10:10. Nothing, you know. The Hellcat and our ARL 44 are taking on a T25/2. What could possibly go wrong here? Yep. ARL dies, and oh, a Chiri just pops up and takes. And they both finish off our Hellcat, but our Hellcat manages to finish off the T25/2. Glory died. So good stuff. At this point. It's just uh, the T-29, myself, and our artillery, the GW Panther. So uh, we all kind of coordinate here. Uh, I tell the T-29 that I'm going to follow him, and we're going to make our way towards Cap. And the GW Panther actually thinks it's best to stick with us as well, which is a which is a great idea. The you know strength in numbers. So we go barreling down the. Uh, Middle East side of Abbey here. We kind of feel each other out a little bit with, uh, he's asking what I have, you know, binoculars, six cents, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so, anyway, of course I'm going to use the T-29 as a bit of a meat shield. Because he's got better armor than I do, I know almost on full health here, but still, he, I'm, I'm a tissue box, so I'm going to bravely hide behind the T-29, and any moment now, I'm trying to figure out where the already is, a lot of clicking going on down in the mini-map, and there's the already, there's their already, so I know at this point that the last spot for the Chiri and the T-34 were on the west side, so I go barreling up the east side, hoping to get some flanking shots. Uh, our GW Panther misses, and he's hiding behind a rock, but he hasn't seen me yet. And I get a little shot to the side, and advance on him, and then, oh no, our ticker starts going off. They are in our capture, or in our... Uh, uh, they're on our flag. There's only one at this point. Still a T1 heavy on account for. Oh, and he's on the cap too. So I gotta high tail it back. And uh, zipping along here, kind of in panic mode because there's only 30 seconds left at this point. Kind of doing a calm yourself down, calm blue ocean focus. And right about, where is it? Right about now. Like, oh, I better load high explosive just in case I don't. Uh oh, there he is. I'm still reloading. He fires at me. I fire him on the move and manage to hit him. I don't know how that happened, but thank you, RNG. I will take that. And I continue on around the side because the T1 Heavy is still in there and he's still capping. And so is the Chi Re at this point. So it was at 97% when I reset at that point, and ticker's going, ticker's going, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, I reset it again with a high explosive to the T1 Heavy. And uh, in chat there, Tiger1 is asking why I'm shooting high explosive. Well, as you know, high explosive doesn't have to pen penetrate to do damage, and uh, I just needed those little two splashes to reset both. And our T-29 at this point had come back to help me. And the chi Re is the only one left. Uh, and our GW Panther down below, our artillery, managed to take out their artillery and their T-34, who I'm assuming was AFK at this point. I plant another one in the chi Re. And the T-29 plants tracks him, and he turns and unloads his whole clip in me, and then two, three shots, and leaves me on three health. <laughs> I see the T-29 trying to ram him at this point, but he was mine. <laughs> anyway, that was a very intense game. Really enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, what more can I say? Have a great evening.